that we got. Um, there's a part of the dashboard that's just higher. Then the other area is very weird to explain, but so this is how I have to prop you up. But um, hi, welcome to the vlog. Welcome, Hoshgel Diniz. So happy to have you. It's been a while since I've done a um, regular vlog. And today we're going to the nail salon and I'm trying a new nail salon. Um, so I'm very excited and a little bit nervous, you know, that they don't mess up. I always get rid of my nails. I usually have SNS dip or regular acrylics. I always get rid of my fake nails right before I give birth just because I know I don't want to be bothered with getting my nails done while I'm postpartum. <clears throat> Baby girl is six months now and I went ahead and did my nails for the first time last month and they were, I mean, I was happy when I first got them and then I just started noticing like little bits and bobs that they're like thick and they're not all the same line and they go very wide. Anyways, I went to Ross and I saw this girl with bomb ass nails and I'm like, oh my god, where did you get them done? And she gave me this address so I'm like, say less. Say less. So I'm really trying to get my husband and I on a schedule of taking time to do something for ourselves consistently, meaning that every two weeks I want him to go get his hair cut and I want to go get my nails done. And every so often I'll go get my hair cut. That's like every once in a couple months. Maybe a little bit more frequent would be a blowout because as you can see, I did have a cut again. How do we love it? But I just did it myself. I did a little bit too much heat protectant spray, I think yesterday, so it's not like vibing the way I wanted to vibe, but that's fine. Um, but yes, so that's something that I want to really implement for him and I. Also, if you've been with me for a while on my channel, you know that I am 32 now. I'll be 32 in November. And I got my driver's license the year I was turning 29. Yeah, because I was 28 when I got my license. Yeah, so I was... Whoa! Okay. Um, sorry! Anyway, so I was 28. And so I completely got over my um, anxiety driving a car well completely let's just say I'm way more comfortable and also you know it's you know it's it's fine it's going good the only issue is sometimes when I'm going to places that I don't really know and especially downtown Jacksonville with all those bridges it's I don't like it right but that's just my preference but now I've seen that I have actually anxiety I think it's anxiety because I get stressed out just by the thought of me having to put gas in the car. Just the whole process of putting gas in the car freaks me out. Like, I'm driving on the low tank of gas right now, and I literally had to turn the car off, run inside to tell my husband, this is the miles that I'm going to the nail salon. Is it enough for me to go and come back? Because I don't want to do it. And listen, guys, I've already put the gas in like three times so it's not a lot but I've did it you, I, you get what I'm saying I'm so confused. anyways okay I gotta merge into the highway so ooh. okay and I don't know what this car is doing in front of me so let me just focus on the road right now oh my god I'm so annoyed they have zero spots available like not today, not tomorrow, not Sunday. I feel like he was just messing me around. So now I just, I don't ever want to go back there. Oh my God. Well, I guess I'm going home. Okay. Hey mama. Okay, so I'm not even gonna lie, I was very upset. So basically what happened was they didn't take me in he said it was all booked up today tomorrow sunday so i mean it's whatever so now i'm going to 
not the salon that did the db that did these nails i'm going to another salon the salon i went to before when you were in mama's belly yeah when you were in mama's belly she's just rolling over i mean obviously she's six months she's just look at her push up pumping up that's right you get so you got that turkey sausage in your hand no okay Mm. So now I'm kind of over it and I don't want to go at all today. Um, so I might go tomorrow. It's so annoying because I just thought everything was going to be over with today. But now it's already it's already 1.50. Um, my husband had a my husband had a hair appointment at 1.30 so that's where he's at right now and I feel like when he gets back it's like what 2 no 2 30 maybe um then me going back out coming back home <sighs> like when are we doing grocery shopping you see what i'm saying like so i just rather um i'll just do it tomorrow morning oh my goodness she's crawling backwards what you doing mamas were you crawling backwards mama sita mama sita Five years, this boy has gone without an iPad. Nona crumbs, look at her. There's a lot going on at the same time. Anyways, Nona crumbs and she leaves her old iPad because she bought a new one. Anyways, I forget what I was saying guys. I think I'm gonna vlog this over two days now. It won't happen until tomorrow. <laughs> ah, you so cutie, 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 cutie. Say hi. Exactly. Oh, I am able to go to the nail salon. Look at this. Floridian downpour. I'm just going to try to drive in the neighborhood and see how I feel because it's really, it's crazy. It really is crazy. Like, this, this is the best set that I have ever had in my life, okay? It is long. I'm not gonna lie. I said medium and he went like, oh yeah, right here. And I'm like, okay, not medium to me. So probably next time won't be this long, but for now it's fine. I wanted something fun and it's just one color. So it's not like I got a crazy nail, but the shape and everything is phenomenal. Oh my God. Oh my god, who awesome! Hey guys, so, okay, I'm a bad vlogger, I get it, I know it, it is what it is, but, you know, we live and we learn, but anyways, one, I still love my nails very much, two, don't comment on my eyebrows, I don't want to talk about it, they're not, don't do it, three, I ordered a walmart grocery pickup um so we're gonna be doing that later um by the way these cups from reduce are just lovely you know the hype about the stanley cups that you can get in target but they're like 40 40 or 50 dollars i don't know this one was 25 or 30 from amazon i got it in this color and then a different color for my husband we love it as always, my Amazon storefront is linked in the description box, so definitely go and check that out. If there's like something that you see around the house or whatever, usually if it's from Amazon, I do have it linked in the description box. Also, look, you see my nose piercing? It's fake nose rings from Amazon, also linked in my storefront. So.
at five in the morning. I wake up to five for my yarding. Yeah, in my mind is a warning. Break to the one you're relying. I've been wandering all day. Try to be fine, but I can't be. The noise in my mind wouldn't leave me. Try to get by, but I'm burning. Let me hide. My mind is right. I'm gonna have to do it this way. It was just not focusing. Um, anyways, I was about to say, Walmart is really good at, I wanted the regular um, carrots that was, this is 32 ounces. I think the other one was 16 ounces. Anyways, it was only 70 cents. This one was more expensive, but they didn't have the other one, so they let me substitute it for the same price. I'm gonna double check after you know this video. I'm gonna double check my receipt, but I believe that is what happened. That's what they said anyway. So, got one of those. We needed this butter. We love this for on our bread. Then we have margarine. I bake with this. Okay, that's done. Then we have some, we probably do not have time to go to Sam's um, this weekend, so so I just got a family pack of buttermilk waffles. My nails are beautiful, guys. Okay, then I got I got a lot of frozen veggies. We got broccoli florets, zucchini blend, California style. So that's just broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. We got green beans. I got two bags of pepper onion blend because I'm gonna use it for, you know, chicken, chicken fajitas, but I like to eat it in uh, tacos. Then they didn't have the Annie's mac and cheese, you know, the Annie's brand. So this brand, Annie's brand, the regular mac and cheese is what they love. They didn't have that, so. I decided to go with these. I've never tried microwavable cup. I have no idea how this works, but we'll see. Um, also got some chunk light tuna because there's another recipe from a Dutch book. This one. So all my Dutchies. Iedereen in België en in Nederland zeker ook. Haar Instagram is ook uit de keuken van Fatima. Zeker, zeker, zeker proberen. Uh, er zit een recept in van pittige tonijnbroodjes. En dat wil ik proberen. Dus ja. Uit de keuken van Fatima. Then super random, I got this. Oh, I thought this was actually frozen. But it's not. Okay. This goes in the pantry. Okay. All right. I got some light brown sugar and some dark brown sugar. We were completely out, and every Sunday is pancake day. Crepe, French, Belgian pancakes, not thick, fluffy American pancakes, but the real ones. Um, no shade, just a little bit. Anyways, you see how I'm using my hands to like explain how I'm feeling on the inside? Okay, anyways. Oh my God, see, this is why I don't read the instructions well. That's a whole lot of sugar. I mean, instructions. I thought I only had a small, you know what, it's fine. I got some creamer for the coffee, heavy whipping cream. Then we got some lactate milk. We got some mild diced tomatoes with green chilies. Some, oh yeah, we got two of those. I thought those were the fire roast. I got two other ones. Some lemon pepper seasoning because mine was sticking together, so definitely time to get rid of that. Canola oil. Oh, this is the other one. See? Fire roast diced tomatoes. So I have two of each. Ah, some Hellman's mayonnaise because my dad emptied ours. He made so much potato salad. Some ramen noodles. Idris loves this. Okay, then this, in my opinion, is the best tomato paste out there. Um, you cannot tell me anything else. So that's that. Then I also got um, a 36 pack of eggs because we use a lot of eggs. We eat them, but I also need them in recipes, um, especially when I'm doing pancakes because that's like four eggs right there. Then we needed some more all-purpose flour. Again, pancakes, but I enjoy making bread and all a lot of Turkish style bread, um, Middle Eastern style bread recipes. So. 
That's what that's for. Then I got four pieces of corn. Four pieces. I mean four. Four corns? Is that how you say that in plural? Why does that sound so weird to me? Anyways, some um, turkey bacon. So these egg rolls will look amazing. I can probably get them cheaper in um, like the Oriental store or Middle Eastern stores, but I just um, wanted to try these. So these are all the stuff that you can do with it, I guess. I'm sorry if you can hear Zany. He's having a moment because he's not allowed to climb on dangerous tables and stuff. We got two yogurts. We got the Yopla strawberry yogurt and then the Chobani um, Greek yogurt. And I opted for Great Value, so Walmart brand. That's $3.50 and this is $5 something. They didn't have the Great Value, so they gave me this again as substitution for the same price as the Walmart one. So I'm just over the moon. Then we got some strawberry jam. Usually I get jelly. I don't know, whatever, strawberry. And then, again, Creative Roots, coconut water, because you know the kids love it. Creative Roots, if you see this, please sponsor us, because we love you. Yeah, and we like this too. Exactly. A jelly yogurt. This is the, this is... You got new shampoo? Now you're fine, right? Yeah, now, now you're fine. Thank you. Good job, Zany. Oh, right there. Right there. Right there. Okay, look.